I'm gonna head out this little garage right here. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing much, if anything, in there, but again, it's part of the property, so. You taking a picture of me? That's where they used to do some of the maintenance on there. So like right here. Some of the stuff they had to fix. They worked on smaller stuff in here. Head to the next building. Alright. Oh, another next one. Alright, next building. This is like the cat hutches. Kind of breezy out here. correctly. Not much in here, just a barn. But unfortunately, don't know the story behind this. If it was already dead, or they left behind and a poor critter died, not quite sure. All right. Majority of these buildings there's not much in there. Like I say, let's give them a quick scan because it's it's part of the part of the history of this building. It's part of it. It's more calf huts. Everything's all overgrown. Up for the prickers. There's the main barn. Right, right there, it's, that's a barn. We did a lot of work on that too. We shingled that. We shingled that roof probably about 15, 20 years ago. Still in actually pretty good shape. Go over to this one. Again, there's very little inside here, but again, give her a quick little scan. I believe, if I remember correctly, this is where they kept the heifers. Just as they freshen. What that means is they're about ready to give birth. Then once they gave birth, the calves went over there. Metal on the roof rattling around because of the wind. Here was 
was where they kept most of the equipment, the tractors, balers, stuff like that. Keep them out of the elements. Or if it's out of the season or when they need it, like obviously you can't bale hay in the in the wintertime. You could, you just have bales of snow. And look, somebody left the 2017 Chevy Colorado. Oh, wait a minute, that's my truck. Yeah, I still can't get over just how it's weird. There was always humming around of machinery inside of here, and cows mooing, and people yelling at each other, and stuff like that. And now it's just silent, and the only thing you hear is the metal rattling around and the wind going through the building. I can't remember what this was used for. I see a bunch of hay and everything down. I don't remember what this was used for. weird. Alright, so we're going to go in to the main barn over there. You're getting a sippy? I think, let, me, let me get a haul off my delicious Tim Hortons large triple triple. Hit, hit, free advertising. <laughs> there is screw that Starbucks mm -hmm. you like Starbucks don't you I do. you don't know anything good then <laughs> stuff tastes like donkey urine that's way overpriced no offense to donkeys well that started controversy <laughs> but we're gonna go into the main barn here Where the where the moo moos hung out. They get their teeth pulled. Yeah, I remember when they had all this pad poured. Again, it's just so surreal. Here's the bulk tank. That's where they held the milk. They would run the solutions inside here to uh, <clears throat> clean out the the uh, piping after they got done milking. Hmm. 
So that's where the coolers are. Looks like some people been in here doing a little bit of whatnot. I've seen a kitty. You've seen a cat? Mm -hmm. No, we're not taking it home. No, there's no electric in here, so pretty much the uh, I'm only going to get the light from my light. I forgot how much of <laughs> catacombs this barn was. I don't even remember this back here. That's a, again, that's how long it's been. Oh, there's the the parlor. That's right. Ooh. Yeah, the cows would come in over there. Walk in here. Stand. Get milked. Got an air cylinder right there. There's the machines that would go on the udders. What a shame. Yeah, I didn't work inside of here ever. I just worked out in the fields. Again, like I said, plowing, disking, working the ground, harvesting. Yeah, and then uh, cows would come from that barn over there, but there's nothing in there at all. Just wide open places. I see you again. Something's dead in here. Oof. For sure. It's got that death stink.
It's in here, that stud. Not in that room. Oof. It's harsh. Let's see here. We'll go this side over here. Bunch of starlings cruising around in here. Yeah, it's just a shame. That's a big old barn. Look at that big old droop in that main beam. As a bird just buzzed my head. Oh, a stairway to the upstairs. We will have to definitely do that. There's probably not much of anything up there, it's just left over hay or what have you. But uh still part of the building. Milking parts. <coughs> Alright, let's check out the office. At least if people are going to do graffiti, at least they do it on a, a board that's going to be erased. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Got the random chair there. Mm -hmm. Old little table saw set up. Kind of an odd place for it, but okay. This would have been the office part of it. Oh man. I don't know if we can make out what that is. Almost looks like a 9mm. Two thousand sixteen. Hmm. This was the other room on the side of that. There's a set of stairs right over there to go up into the top of the barn. Oh, okay. So cool. we definitely got to check that out. Yeah. Because <coughs> I know a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of times we'll can't get access to the very top mm -hmm. of the barn. All right. It almost looks like it's going to start raining. Which then it will turn into mugginess. Mm -hmm. Worse than what it is right now. Right now it's so muggy it's like you can take a scraper and scrape the mugginess off you. Yeah, let's check out these upstairs. Okay, hold on. I'm going to need two hands for this door. Alright, got the door open. Some weird steps here. Got some noisy neighbors over here, I see. So just watch this floor because okay. it could be funky in spots. Take small steps. Okay. <clears throat> And I remember putting the hay up in here. And let me tell you a story. It sucked. Those little 
homemade grain shoot they made. Yeah, this barn is gigantic, a little the size of that beam. Even though it's kind of hard to tell, it's about a foot, foot thick and a foot wide. But tiny, tiny steps. Yep. Like I said, I remember loading, filling this place full of hay. And boy, did that just really suck. That's the only part of farming I didn't like. Okay. Had a little mini freak out there. Yeah, this is a big old barn. shoot and come from the upper half. That's how you would get in up here through the through the front. Big old sags in there. I remember putting all these cables in because the barn was starting to get a little funky. We put all them cables in. There's one back there, there's a bunch right here, there's some right there. Yeah, it's a shame. Look how tall that is up there, that's got to be a good 35, 40 feet. Imagine this whole thing filled with hay and how hot it would be. <sighs> Alright, well, that's about it for this place. Again, it's just so surreal because I know the history of the place. I thought somebody was actually doing something with it and I ended up doing a drive-by and seeing stuff was overgrown and so we just felt compelled to stop and check it out. Again, it's kind of sad how, uh, you know, farms smaller farms, this would be considered a smaller farm, but uh, all the smaller farms are just starting to lay to waste, look at that, that's probably going to be caving in here within the next couple of years, alright, well, you ready to head out, dearie? Yeah. Let's get down these stairs. Just watch the floor. Well, I didn't go over into here. I'll just do a quick scan. More cables. That's what's basically holding the building together. Because probably in a matter of no time, this is all just going to be falling in. That's a beautiful old barn. Big old beams. Alright, well, let's head down the death stairs and mosey on out. Okay. That door almost kicked my ass. Almost. Did a Hong Kong karate chop on it, yo. Alright. 
make our way out of here. Geez, we got more footage of the barn than we did the house. Alright, well, we're gonna head on out. See if we can find the next place. See you on the next one.